Hi, I'm Denise Tapara, and this is one of my paintings that I wanted to do a little bit of a conversation about because it's really quite special to me and it's going to be picked up by its new owners tomorrow. And the wonderful thing about that is that it's a really close friends of mine who have bought it. So that really warms my heart. I've got to say um, that some paintings that I'm reluctant to let go of or I'll, you know, I'll miss them. Sometimes it's, um, it's a little lost when you have no idea where they've gone. And so it's really quite beautiful when I get to meet who buys my artwork or connect with them in some way. And in this case, they're really close friends. So it's quite beautiful. It feels like um, it's not going too far and I know it'll be all right. Um, so yeah, in some ways they kind of do feel part of you. They, you know, sometimes these paintings feel part of you. So I wanted to share a little bit about this artwork because it's particularly special what has been happening is um, from a broad sense, I feel like I haven't painted in a way that's brought me to life like this for many years. I mean, I think the last batch of paintings I did was for a group exhibition in 2016 and it was um, the same year after my mum died. And it's almost, I've been noticing that my productive periods of painting are almost punctuated by huge grief. Um, so much so that I'm being drawn toward, I I'm really interested in holding a space for people in grief or in loss. Um, that's another piece of my world. So I'll, I'll just sort of leave that to the side for today, but it, you know, it's part of this conversation in some ways because it's like I use creativity as my it, way, it's self-expression and self-healing. And so I started painting way back when in response to my sister dying. And so that was, you know, way back in 1997. And then, as I said, 2016, my mum died and I did a batch of paintings really because they were needed for an exhibition. And so, you know, it's nothing like having a deadline to make you create for. And um, so, you know, there's been periods all along there, but that sometimes you can get into a painting rut and keep painting the same thing because you're not quite sure what else to do. But then if it stops coming through you and you're just sort of doing it as going through the motions, it just might not be as satisfying. And then sometimes that can like dry up. It can just all dry up. And so sometimes over the patching over the last decade, that's what it's felt like it's happened over and over again. And maybe bouts of unwellness and things like that have all come into play. All that to say that what I'm experiencing now is, um, has been really beautiful. Um, and you know, it's not as if that's what life's always like. And so that's why I wanted to mention that, you know, there's been other, um, periods of not so good. So anyway, the these paintings that I've been doing since, I don't know, late last year, maybe about sort of October, November, have sort of almost been in, coinciding in response to the Australian bushfires. And so they have a feeling, a sense of regrowth and regeneration and lush greenery and flora and fauna that is healthy and rich and, and varied and in stark contrast to what we're being shown on our news of the devastation of the Australian bush and people even losing their homes. And so it's almost in some ways I was saying to a friend that sometimes it almost feels like painting my prayers, you know, painting the vision of the way I, I want to see our our Australian bush that's green and rich and lush um, and but not like lifelike or not into realism painting I love having it be a little looser and a little freer and a bit more whimsical than that um, so that's been the sort of almost a catalyst in some ways that it seems to have come and so from a place of feeling quite powerless to putting the energy of that into my artwork and transmuting it in a way um, and so uh, the 
the birds visiting are another piece or another element that seems to be coming up and that birds can seem to let me know which ones want to be in the paintings. Um, and I have king parrots very occasionally visit me in my backyard and I was saying to the new owners of this painting that it's really a bit like having a royal visit. You know, they're called king parrots. And you know, when the royals visit town, people sometimes just stop and stare and just watch them go by until they're out of sight. Um, and that's what I tend to do to king parrots because they're quite incredible. They are really quite a large bird and their colors are profoundly beautiful. The rich green and rich red um, are stunning. Um, so that's who's visiting here. And if I just move the camera a little bit, I can show you down the bottom. I've got almost the reminiscent of a Monet-like lily um, covered pond. And these little birds that are called um, swamp hens in Australia. And in New Zealand where I grew up, they're known as the Pukeko. So I've named this painting Pukekos on the Pond because they are so endearing with their sweet little um, red on their heads and beautiful electric blue um, front. In fact, I think that's what might be the difference is the ones in Australia might have red legs and I don't know if the New Zealand ones do. Could be wrong, but I quite like that idea. Whenever I see seagulls with their red legs, I, I kind of think they like red stockings, a bit cute. Um, so that's who's in here, these three Pukekos. And so it's beautiful. The um, lady who's bought this painting is also from New Zealand. So no doubt, you know, the um, inclusion of the Pukeko was something might have spoken to her heart too. And so, you know, there's a lot of Kiwis living in Australia. And so to mix up the bird life is sort of symbolic in, in many ways of how many um, New Zealanders have chosen to, to make uh, Australia our home. And I, I have, I moved over here when I was 19 and I'm just over 50 now. And so I've been more longer in Australia than New Zealand and I feel very home here. Um, the beaches called me, um, not that I'm a surfer or anything or even I don't like to lie on the sand and get burnt, but I love to go near the ocean to walk with it and just be yes. so what i've almost been feeling is that these paintings are almost portals taking me into um a little bit of another world or maybe it would be lovely if they did that to those who enjoy them those who are drawn to them that they feel that regeneration that regrowth that lush um fecundity it's a weird word my husband uses that word for it um, it doesn't come naturally to me, but that's another word used to describe it. Um, so I guess that's kind of what I, um, I guess what I was feeling and what led me to want to make this is that it's sort of like it's something for me to keep as well. You know, after the painting's gone, I love that this painting's going to be with friends of mine. Um, and so I might very well get to see it again. And it's like seeing an old friend. And that's one of the things that I really love about um, when, an, when I get to meet the people who buy my artwork. Um, it's really beautiful to hear how it's touched them. And for me to know who's gonna be the guardian, the custodian of, of the artwork now. Um, because most of the time, if work sells, um, I don't get to know who has it and I have no idea where it's gone and I may not know you know the story of what moved that person to buy it and I just I must say it is a beautiful thing to be included in that that little circle you know because the art comes around comes through me I bring it out into the world and then it's a beautiful closure of the circle to be able to meet um, where who, 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 who it met, who it landed with. So yeah, um, so thank you to those who um, made a, an effort, they've reached out to me and they wanna connect and maybe commission a painting. It's really beautiful, I really enjoy it. 
So that's it for here. I'll put a few close-ups and images of this painting to share um, with the, uh, to keep on this video. So yeah, thanks for listening. Bye. Thank you.